What up, best moments to Dan Tom Ray Mel. You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Orlando for Wednesday, May 29th, 2024. Delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mel. That's R E Y M E L O. On Twitter at the Enter Report or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for the Entertainment Report and it'll take you to the page. The Wicked Movie gets the Lego treatment in a new Brickfied trailer. Lego and Universal Pictures uh, released a trailer for the film Wednesday that recreates the official Wicked trailer entirely in Lego blocks. The Shot by Shot Recreation features Lego versions of Cynthia Evero, Ariana Grande, and other cast members. Wicked is a musical fantasy film based on the Broadway musical and Gregory Maguire novel, which are inspired by the L. Frank Baum novel, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. The movie imagines the origin stories of Afaba, played by Evero, the future Wicked Witch of the West, and Glinda, the Good, played by Ariana Grande. Afaba and Glinda meet as students at the Schitt's a uh, university in the fantastical land of Oz and fortune unlikely but profound friendship. Following an encounter with the wonderful Wizard of Oz, their friendship reaches a crossroads and their lives take very different paths, according to the official um, synopsis. Universal shared their first official trailer for Wicked earlier this month. The cast also includes Michelle Yeoh, Jeff Goldblum, Jonathan Bailey, Ethan Slater, Marissa Bode, Bowen Yang, and Bruin James. Wicked will be split into two parts, with part one to open in theaters November 27th and part two to follow November 27th, 2025. Lego will release a Wicked-inspired Lego set October 1st. Sony Pictures is teasing the new film Wolves. The studio shared a trailer for the movie Wednesday featuring George Clooney and Brad Pitt. Wolves is an action comedy written and directed by John Watts, a filmmaker known for directing the Spider-Man movie starring Tom Holland. Chloe and Pitt star as rival fixers who reluctantly team up after being hired for the same job. The official description reads, Chloe plays a professional fixer hired to cover up a high-profile crime. But when a second fixer played by Pitt shows up and the two lone wolves are for- forced to work together, they find their night spiraling out of control in ways that neither one of them expected. Apple TV Plus shared a teaser trailer for Wolves on Tuesday that showed Clooney and Pitt's character taking a tense drive. Wolves opens in theaters September 20th and is expected to later premiere on Apple TV+. Pitt and Clooney previously collaborated on the Ocean's Eleven trilogy, directed by Steven Sonnenberg in the 2008 film Burn After Reading. Apple TV Plus is introducing the new series Camp Snoopy. The streaming service shared a trailer in June premiere date for the show Wednesday. Camp Snoopy is based on the Peanuts comic strip by Charles M. Schultz. The show follows Snoopy and the Beagle Scouts along with Charlie Brown and friends as they enjoy an adventure-filled summer outdoors. The official synopsis reads, After discovering their troop is in danger of disbanding, Snoopy and the Beagle Scouts set off to immerse themselves into nature and the great outdoors to earn their badge with the Beagle Scout manual as their guide. Meanwhile, Charlie Brown and friends enjoy their summer at Camp Spring Lake, crossing paths with Snoopy as they experience hiking, swimming, sitting around campfires, and everything summer camp and the outdoors have to offer. Camp Snoopy is produced for Apple TV Plus by Peanuts and Wild Brain, with Rob Bottelier as director. Bottelier, Craig Schultz, Paige Braddock, Josh Sherba, Stephanie Betts, and Logan McPherson serve as executive producers. Camila Maroney has joined the cast of The Night Manager. The online report Wednesday that Maroney, an actress known for playing Camilla in Daisy Jones and the Six, will star in season two of The Night Manager on BBC One and Prime Video. Maroney joins returning stars Tom Hiddleston, who reprises his role as Jonathan Pine, a former soldier turned night manager of a luxury hotel. Maroney joined the cast amid reports that Elizabeth Debicki, who played Jonathan's love interest Jed in season one, has exited the show. Variety confirmed Maroney's casting. The BBC announced in April that it renewed the night manager for seasons two and three. The series is based on the John Leclerc 
spy novel of the same name and originally premiered on BBC One and AMC in 2016. Season 2 picks up eight years after the explosive events of the Season 1 finale. The United Manager is created, written, and executive produced by David Farr, with Georgie Bank Davies to direct all six episodes of Season 2. Production will resume later this year. Yellowstone co-stars Ryan Bingham and Hacey Harrison are married. The uh, Bingham and Harrison uh, tied the knot at a Western-inspired wedding at Harrison's family home in Dallas. Harrison told Vogue from the star Ryan, I just really wanted to create a day that wasn't just a series of events, but a heartfelt experience that centered around emotions, comfort, intimacy, and genuine moments with the people we love the most. Every choice was a reflection of us, and getting to witness all of it come to life was incredible. The couple said their vows at Harrison's dream wedding, an elegant western affair featuring tones of worn leather, delicate lace, and a soft blush color palette, and a cowboy black tie dress coat. Harrison wore two dresses, a lace wedding gown uh, by designer Galia Lava, featuring 3D embroiled flowers and a tule train, and a white mini dress by designer Netta Ben Shabu. Guests included Harrison's three sisters and Bingham's three children with his ex-wife Ann Axter. Bingham and Harrison first met on the set of Yellowstone, where they played the ranch hand Walker and the barrel racer Laramie, respectively. The couple starred Day in 2023 and first sparked marriage rumors that December. Yellowstone resumed filming Season 5, Part 2, Montana this month. Millie Bobby Brown and Jake Bon Jovi are doing great in the wake of their wedding earlier this month. Bon Jovi's father, singer and musician John Bon Jovi, confirmed the couple's marriage and shared details about the wedding Tuesday on BBC's The One Show. Bon Jovi said of the couple, they're great, they're absolutely fantastic. It was a very small family wedding and the bride looked gorgeous and Jake is happy as can be. Love is in the air. People reported Friday that Brown and Bon Jovi had married the past weekend. The son said Bon Jovi and his wife Dorothea Bon Jovi were among the guests along with Brown's parents. A source says it was a very low-key romantic affair with their closest families with them as they said their vows. Brown and Bon Jovi made their relationship Instagram official in November 2021 and made their red carpet debut as a couple at the BAFTA Film Awards in March 2023. The couple announced their engagement in April. Brown is best known for playing Eleven on the Netflix series Stranger Things, while Bon Jovi is a fashion model. Disney is giving a glimpse of the new film Moana 2. The studio shared a trailer for the movie Wednesday featuring the voices of Oluli Carvalho and Dwayne Johnson. Moana 2 is a sequel to the 2016 film Moana, which follows Moana, played by Carvalho, the daughter of a village uh, chief uh, in an ancient Polynesia as she seeks out the demigod Maui played by Johnson to help save her island's reef. The trailer shows Moana and Maui reunite three years after the events of the first film as Moana sets sail on a new adventure. The official description reads, after receiving an unexpected call from a from her wayfinding ancestors, Moana must journey to the far seas of Oceana and into dangerous, long-lost waters for an adventure unlike anything she's ever faced. Moana 2 is directed by David Derrick Jr., Jason Han, and Dana Lidos Miller, and features music by Abigail Barlow, Emily Baer, Opitia Fioa, and Mark Mancina. Carvalho confirmed in February that she would return to voice Moana in the sequel. Moana 2 opens in theaters November 27th. Disney is also developing a live-action remake of the first film. Johnson will play Maui in the live-action version, but the casting of Moana has yet to be announced. Ellen DeGeneres will launch her final stand-up comedy tour in June. The comedian and former talk show host of 66 announced dates for the tour, officially named Ellen's last stand-up on Wednesday. The farewell tour kicks off with the sold-out show June 19th in San Diego and concludes August 17th in Minneapolis. It is going on sale Friday at 10 a.m. local time with pre-sales to begin Thursday at 10 a.m. Ellen's last stand-up will see DeGeneres reintroduce her trademark wit and laughter-induced antidotes to a live crowd in her final curtain call, according to a press release. The final dates of the tour, August 16th and 17th in Minneapolis, will be filmed for her upcoming Netflix special. 
DeGeneres told Netflix Tadam this month that the special will be her last. Uh, she said, uh, referencing wife Portia de Rossi, to answer the questions everyone is asking me, yes, I'm going to talk about it. This is my very last special. Yes, Portia really is that pretty in real life. The Netflix special will premiere on the streaming service later this year. The tour and special were announced about two years after the end of the gen- of the Jarrett's talk show, The Ellen DeGeneres Show. The Jarrett's hosted her final episode in May 2022 following allegations in 2020 of a toxic work relationship on the set of the show. The rock duo of the Black Keys announced a halt to the North American leg of the band's so-called International Players Tour to rework which venues will host the shows. Uh, the Black Keys announced on X following the recent runs of shows at the UK and Europe, including stops at the iconic venues like Brixton Academy and Zenith in Paris, who decided to make some changes to the North American leg of the, of the International Players Tour that will enable us to offer a similarly exciting, intimate experience for both fans and the band. The band said fans who bought tickets to canceled shows will receive full refunds. The duo posted apologies for the surprise changes. We're pretty sure everyone's going to be excited when you see what we have in mind. Ticket holders won't have to act to obtain full refunds, which will be issued automatically according to the method of payment used. The ticket refunds will be issued within three weeks. Fans with tickets to cancel shows will have the first opportunity to obtain tickets for the arrived slate of shows which when the respective venues are announced. The Black Keys are from uh, Akron, Ohio, whose LP Ohio Players was released in April. The European leg of the International Players Tour launched in April. The Black Keys have won multiple Grammys and formed in 2001 in Akron. The duo is Patrick Carney on drums and Dan Arbach on guitar and vocals. And finally, Eminem will release a new single, Houdini, on Friday, the 51-year-old rapper announced the song Tuesday in a teaser featuring magician David Blaine. The teaser shows Eminem and Blaine discussing collaborating during a FaceTime call with Eminem asking Blaine, what, what I was wondering is like, how far can we go with this magic? Like, can we do a stunt or something? Blaine responds with, you mean something like this? Before downing a glass of wine and biting into the glass. Eminem replies before hanging up abruptly, well, for my last trick, I'm going to make my career disappear. Houdini is lead, the lead single from Eminem's forthcoming 12th studio album, The Death of Slim Shady, Koopa the Grace, a reference to his alter ego Slim Shady. Eminem teased the album in April with the clip from the fake true crime show Detroit Murder Files featuring 50 Cent. The rapper released his most recent album, Murder to, a Music to be Murdered By, in January of 2020. And that is the Entertainment Report for Wednesday, May 29th, 2024. I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Facebook.com slash The Entertainment Report with Ray Mello. That's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O. On Twitter at The Entertainment Report or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for the Entertainment Report and it'll take you to the page. Good night and God bless you all.